So it's the start of spring, it's cold, and we face into another grazing season in 2020. But looking at one of the big challenges is lungworm on farms. And why is that a challenge? I suppose, as I said, our weather, our dosing regimes, and our grazing patterns help that. It costs a lot of money in dairy cows when we have outbreaks of lungworm. It's production losses, it's immune losses, it can be fertility issues. So we really need to understand the life cycle if we get into thinking about how we're gonna control lungworm. Okay, so where do these larvae on pasture or lungworm larvae come from and how does it occur year on year? So we, we have milder winters. Those milder winters have allowed larvae to survive across the winter to be a source of infection for younger calves or other cows. But we must also remember, cows themselves, they can be a small percentage that carry larvae dormant in their lungs season to season, allowing for the spread onto pasture. And that allows the build up over time. And that's why we get such problems in some herds, because we have a constant cycle of lungworm year on year. It starts by an animal ingesting the L3 larvae. These L3 or immature larvae travel down the gut. And in the gut, they actually pass along into the blood and the lymph of the cow and they travel along that in and they land in the lungs. And this is where these young immature lungworm develop and move through the lung tissue. Now you can start imagining when that gets into big numbers as the season goes on, the amount of irritation that can occur in the lungs. Then you have finally these adult lungworms which can be up to eight centimeters long developing here. And in the, the, the large airways, they start producing eggs which hatch out these very uh, young immature larvae again, which are coughed up and passed out in dung. Okay, so we've understood the life cycle inside the animal, but these adult lungworm cough up these larvae and they're passed out in dung. So how do these L1s, or very immature larvae, develop in the dung and how do they spread? It takes about five days from L1 stage to L3, and that's important because they're the infective larvae. But how do they get out of the dung? They can do it by rainwater splashing them out, cows moving through it. But there's actually a fungus in dung called pylobolus, which actually acts like a rocket launcher and sometimes can spread these larvae for three meters, where the cycle continues. They get on grass and cows graze and you repeat the process back into the gut. Now, what happens is it, when this develops over time, this life cycle, we can have a build up. Remember, the adult lungworm produced thousands of eggs. So this cycle continues and continues if the conditions are correct. That's why developing immunity is really, really important in lungworm control. When you get lungworm in the lungs, that the immune system of the animal actually responds to it, reacts to it, and creates that immunity. Now that's why repeated exposure over time, and traditionally we wouldn't have been warming our animals. That's an important concept to understand because what's happened is we've got increased challenges. So even with immunity developing, that can be overcome. But also there's another challenge called reinfection syndrome, where, uh, okay, lungworm mightn't develop into adults in the lungs, but they'll still go through the process of traveling to the gut and traveling to the lungs to these young immature larvae, which can still cause problems. We also have an issue when we talk about immunity with young stock in particular getting warmed a huge amount in their first grazing season, not allowing exposure and immunity. So when it comes to immunity in lungworm, it's really, really important. And we're going to talk later on in control uh, systems and management of lungworm, how vaccine is kind of taking that control back of stimulating that immune system on a regular basis to build up that natural immunity. It can be quite complex, but when it's done correctly, it really can help with an overall strategy for lungworm control in your herd.